James McGinn. Guys, we're about to leave. We're about to go on airplane. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. It's going to be a great, great trip. So by the time you're seeing this, when will this go out? It'll go out we pretty soon. We yeah. should be back or we are traveling. Currently, it's just going out. I don't know yet, but we are going to Milwaukee Midwest Gaming Classic. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to get to see Chase. I'm going to get to see Phoenix Riso. I'm going to get to see a bunch of friends. It's going to be great. Uh, I want to know from you. You're traveling. You're, you're yep. hitting the road, bro. Uh huh. You're hitting the road. Yes. Travel and snack of choice. Snack. Oh, man. I like Mike and Ike's. Yeah, Mike and Mike Ike's. And Ike's is Have a drink? Get a drink? Mountain Dew. Okay. Straight up. Y'all let us know down regular. below. I am a big honey flavor twist Fritos. They're the honey barbecue twists. And get me a big old blue Gatorade. That's my, okay. Solid. That's my travel. Y'all yeah. let us know down below. That's good. Down below your snack of choice when you're traveling. I would ask Will, but he is talking on the phone. So let's skip that right All now. Right. Uh, what do we have right here, man? Got some Super Famicom controllers okay. here. First of all, we need these because we are always short on Super Nintendo controllers. And if you did not know, Famicom controllers uh, work on a Super Nintendo, just yeah. like a Super Nintendo controller, just different color buttons. But we have one problem. It's a oh. little, it's a little problem. Why? What? Japanese houses are, you know, smaller, right? Not even houses. It's like uh, apartment they're little, complexes. Yeah, they're condos. That is, I believe, a two foot cord. That's so, a problem here in America. I got, I got these and I'm so excited because I'm finally like, hey, I am solving our issue with not having Super Nintendo controllers. So I got these and I was like, I do not feel comfortable selling that to somebody. I think I would open it up and be very disappointed. Of course. So for every single one of these, I bought six foot extenders. So now they're gonna have an extender and you can get your Super Nintendo controllers here. Also, I'm gonna guide you over to two different trades real quick. This was a big trade by our guy, Triton. Talk about Triton a couple times. I like that dude. So I don't know if he's been, good. I think he's been in one video, maybe two videos. 19 years old, and he's out there hustling, dude. He is. He is a hit in every garage sale, every Facebook Marketplace deal he can find, and he is hustling. So he brought in all of this stuff. I actually don't think there's anything too crazy in here. Just a bunch of 20 to $25 games. This is kind of cool. This is an Xbox 360 Street Fighter skin. You would snap that thing onto your Xbox. That's pretty dope. This is just actually went up. Remember we talked about this? Oh yeah. The Mike Tyson, uh -huh. uh, Jake Paul fight. This has gone up to like $50. <laughs> Keeps going up. And if you ever see a five screw, it's ridiculous how much that is. Uh, hey, real quick, your snack. Snack, snack so choice. So if I'm driving, sunflower seeds. And oh, solid. Mountain Dew. Now, if you can find the burger flavored ones. Okay. Those are and burger? Okay, this is yeah, weird. You're gross. You're gross. So no, weird. No, they're so Will? good. They are so good. Y'all shut up. I'm trying to Guitar Hero on my DS, dog. We got uh, <coughs> Mega Man, Battle Network, White 3, Donkey Kong Country 3, and some, ooh, another Mega Man game. Another Mega Man game. So, again, this isn't anything too crazy, but good stuff. Crazy stuff is back here. So we got some interesting things back here. Uh, we've got, whoop, we got some Pikmin, Pikmin 2, Xenoblade Chronicles. We actually cannot keep either of these two Wii U games in stock. We got Twilight Princess HD and Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh! Editor Michael, hit me with a CIB price right here. That one's expensive. Actually, that one sells almost instantly. I'm surprised it's still here, even though we haven't fully processed it. So all this stuff back here hasn't been fully processed. So um, this is actually a Charizard from the Pokemon Center from about 10 years ago, 2014. And that is about a $50 plush, which is pretty wild. And then right here is one of the coolest things that I've seen in quite some time. Did you get a chance to see this yet? I did. It's so cool. So, you know, it's a little 90s Pikachu Pokemon travel case, right? And you may be wondering, well, Rick, I'd like to know what is inside that. I guarantee you, you will never guess because I did not, I did not know that this was, this is what this was. You ready? It's a briefcase for your VHS Pokemans. Oh my gosh! And they are clean like, clean too. Oh, Look at they that are. Shine. They are beautiful. They are. They are beautiful. So like, Michael, can I come over to your house for a sleepover? Yes, as long as you bring your Pokemon VHS briefcase. Okay. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, oh, a Pokemon crystal. 
Uh, uh, a little old Pokemon Gold. We got, these are cool. Oh, Editor Michael, you better find me a commercial for the Pokemon Coin Game. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Oh, Caterpie. Look at these. Oh, Slowpoke. Oh! Uh, we have one of, one of the cleanest... 3DSs that I've seen, these Ooh. these uh, are always scratched to poop up. So there's that. We got some stuff under here. We got too. some consoles. This oh yeah, I, right here. Yeah, the Wii Mini. So if you have not seen the Wii Mini, it is a Wii that came out later in the lifespan. Did not have internet, so that was kind of a, a deterrent for people buying it. But they were I think cheaper at the time. I don't know if I've ever seen one CIB. So two pretty solid trades into the store. Process them. Go, hurry. Get yes, 10 sir. minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm with my friends, Alan and Callie. They are from where? Uh, North Carolina. In Atlanta, yeah. North Carolina oh, and right. Atlanta, so that's awesome. So they saw the billboards. Like, you don't even know anything about the YouTube channel, right? No. no. Okay, no. that's awesome, yeah. I love that. I saw the billboard, I was like, he looks like he runs a YouTube channel, but like, yeah. <laughs> He's got that look. look Thank you, uh, Thank you. Right. that's so cool. Yeah, so the billboard, the billboard's working! Yes! yes. yes. Okay, so um, to win, I'm gonna, let's do 10 bucks in store, do a little bit of trivia. I got to ask them what they were into. You said Sonic. Mm. All right, I'm gonna try, I, I got two, I want you to win. So this, it's not fun <laughs> if you don't win. Yeah, so yeah. Um, what is Sonic's favorite snack, his food? Oh, chili dog. Yes! All right, <laughs> let's do another 10. All right. Let's do another 10. This is not, so, this isn't. This one's not gonna be as easy, thank you. It's about the same, it's about the same. Oh, okay. So Dr. Robotnik, mm -hmm. that's his name, right? But he also goes by another name that Sonic calls him. Eggman. What is it? Eggman? Dr. Eggman! Eggman. Yes. yes! Thank you guys for coming in. Sure. 20 bucks to spend in the store! I have had a journey with a particular rare video game console. Here it is. It is the Panasonic GameCube, the Panasonic Q to be exact. A couple of y'all saw this in the background of the last yeah. video and I was hoping video that you wouldn't see it. They're like, hey, there's Panasonic Q, Panasonic Q. I see it. Extremely, extremely rare console right here. So, whew, if you did it, no, I don't know all the facts on this. I'm gonna try. Fairly certain we saw that was not produced in America. I That's think. correct. Okay, Japan, Japan. only. Um, this is, and you're probably, at, you're probably asking yourself, well, well, why, what is this all about? When people see this, most of the time when people see this console, they go, oh my gosh, I completely forgot about that console that it even came out. This thing has definitely been forgotten, and for good reason in some cases. So the problem with this console is, here, the good things, the good things. It is a GameCube, as you would expect. It's a Panasonic Q GameCube. But it also plays DVDs, okay? Ooh. The GameCube did not, the little discs, they, they did not play um, DVDs. This did, it was competing in the time with the PS2, and PS2's played, you know, uh, DVDs, obviously. Um, so the problem, though, with this guy is, that 99.9% .9 of the time these things are broken. I have never been able to get my hands on one of these working and I finally got one broken and then I had somebody repair it. Now, the thing is, we're about to fire this thing up too. The thing about this is it was, it was fixed. It took him four months to fix it. I mean, like, I'm talking an expert. I had another expert repair technician look at it. He said, dude, I don't have the time to put into it. I could fix it, but I don't have the time. The other guy said, I'm gonna make the time because I've always wanted to work on one of these things. And he put in four months, almost four months into this, brought it back to me and was like, here it is, take it. I no Let's, longer wanna work on it. I don't wanna it. work on it, plug it in. And we plugged it in and from the time he fixed it from home to when he brought it here, it didn't work. <laughs> so we're about to try it again and see. He brought it back and it did work. But we want to see. I mean, hey, is it? Are we? Is it going to fire up? A couple things uh, that's cool about it is it does have a region switcher. So basically, go Japan or um, NTSC, North American discs, and we're going to see if it works. Let's do this. If I'm not mistaken, also these are extremely expensive. I have I have two Panasonic GameCube controllers. Editor Michael, I don't know what it is. I think it's like 200 bucks to put up a, a price of what they sell for. And I also have the DVD remote, which I think is like That's two to three hundred dollars. It's ex extremely expensive. Woo. All right, so here we go. We are plugged in. Moment of truth. Let's see first if it powers on. We should see some beautiful blue um, text. Okay, okay. DVD, CD, read, everything is no disc. That's fine. There we go. So also play CDs, we believe as well. Let's give it a little open. 
he had to like look this is 3d printed he had to like remake so much of this these are a nightmare to work on like the biggest nightmare to work on these consoles so now let's see here i don't know if i need a hard reset let's just re let's go reset first let's see what happens i wonder if i need to switch it well you know i'm dumb pays to hit the right button there's a there, there's a button right here that says game that was the button that needed to be pushed mm, yes diddy kong racing be quiet we want to hear some melee Freak. It's only been years since I've wanted a working Panasonic Q GameCube, and we got one. Who's my main? Oh, don't ask me. Don't ask me my main. Curb. Always curb. Always curb. There it is, guys. The elusive Panasonic Q working functional. Thank you again, big time to my guy, Jeff, for fixing this thing. It is working, it is beautiful, and it's going to the collection. Uh, my death pile has gotten really, really, really bad. Everyone here always gets onto me because they're like, Rick, the messiest spot in the whole dang store is all your stuff. But I ain't got time to mess with it because we're headed to Wisconsin. Tomorrow, I will deal with this next week. Guys, don't forget, never. Stop playing.